What if the ocean could become a city, a new economic zone impervious to climate change and unlimited in potential? What if we could put farms on the sea, host climate refugees, and solve our city's overpopulation crisis? That's what Japanese startup N-Arc is proposing with its Dogen City, a floating self-sufficient metropolis. But is this a glimpse into the future of construction or just a sci-fi fantasy? Even though the company has not revealed its budget plan, it would cost billions of dollars in making. In today's video, we will see in depth of all the interesting facts about Japan's first floating city. Say you've got a beautiful coastal town that's simply running out of space. You could journey out into the water, fill it with a bunch of rock, sand and clay and build on top of it. In very simple terms, that's land reclamation and it's an approach that's been used for centuries, but it hasn't always turned out to be the most sustainable approach. And as sea levels continue to rise, we need to change the way we build and fast. It's so scary, but for us, it's a chance to change in our lifetime, to expand our habitable zone from the land to the sea. Floating developments aren't entirely new. There's the floating islands at Lake Titicaca in Peru, floating villages in Cambodia, and floating river homes, just to name just a few. Even floating offshore platforms like those used for oil rigs can essentially function like small towns. But these concepts are getting even bigger, costing over billions of dollars. Even more, trillion dollar projects are being built around the world. The United Nations has backed a South Korean project to build a series of floating platforms off the coast of Busan. Over in Saudi Arabia, the kingdom has proposed Oxagon, a floating industrial city, which would cost approximately $500 billion. That's part of its mega development neom. One Japanese startup wants to take it even further. This is Dogen City, 1.58 kilometers in diameter and approximately four kilometers in circumference, measuring a total 300 90 acres, it is massive. This first module is designed to accommodate 40,000 people, functioning as a completely standalone city, but with a village-like atmosphere. The circular structure would have public housing, medical research centers, food production facilities, and even launch sites for spacecraft. Within the bay, there will be floating structures that can be reconfigured depending on what they're needed for. The outer ring is designed to act as a sort of tsunami shield with barriers that would protect the inner floating developments and everything would be weighted in the water, almost like a wind turbine or oil rig. To say this plan is ambitious would be modest. It's essentially a tech-driven master plan for a floating utopia that aims to address the impending climate refugee crisis, affordable housing, and food shortages. According to the Global Center on Adaptation, if we continue to harvest and produce food the way we do, we'll have a shortage of land the size of North America by 2050. You may remember Singapore's bold plan to turn every last corner of the metropolis into urban farmland. Rotterdam is already home to the world's first floating dairy farm. NARC says, Dogen City could grow nearly 7,000 tons of food each year using cultivation technology that relies on seawater as a source of nutrients for plants. So, a tsunami-resistant, self-sufficient climate change refuge in the sea. Sounds great. But there is one big problem here, money. Building and maintaining something like this would take a lot of it. So, the project company is shifting his focus from construction to profits. However, the evolving landscape of business priorities is steering entrepreneurs towards more impactful ventures, reflecting a perceptible shift from traditional industries to product-centric endeavors. This transition is underscored by a recognition that addressing pressing global challenges, such as aiding climate refugees, demands innovative solutions and a strategic alignment with the data-driven success stories of companies like Tesla, Apple, and Microsoft. The profitability of these industry giants is often attributed to their adept utilization of data, positioning them as not merely manufacturers, but as robust data businesses. As the urgency to confront climate-related issues takes center stage, a new breed of entrepreneurs is channeling their efforts into product businesses that leverage data for both innovation and profitability, echoing the paradigm shifts witnessed in the tech sector. That's why Dogen City is also being pitched as a medical tourism destination 
complete with robot-operated surgeries and AI health monitoring. Additionally, living in Dogen City means residents can partake in daily telemed consultations that use sensors, blood samples, and genome analysis to evaluate their health. They'll also have access to advanced robotic surgery and drug research. In terms of food, functional ingredients and crops will be grown on site using innovative cultivation technology that relies on seawater as a source of nutrients for plants. The project will produce nearly 7,000 tons of food annually and generate 22 million kilowatts of power. Yes, really. If all that weren't enough to draw in the profits, Dogen City's healthcare system will be run off the island's undersea edge data center. Now, data centers use a lot of energy. In fact, they're projected to account for 20% of the world's electricity usage by 2025. A lot of that comes from simply cooling all the equipment needed to run the internet. One way to bring the temperature and costs down in a building full of hot servers put the whole thing underwater. To sustain maritime business and solve problems, policy, business and technology strategies must come together to create a new maritime economy, Enarc writes on their website. Dogen City's design will consist of three layers, or what the company has dubbed industries, each with its own purpose. First, there's a habitable, self-sustaining maritime village that will provide living infrastructure and promote mental and physical self-care. The ring shape also protects it from the threat of a tsunami. Then, an undersea data center that's naturally cooled by the ocean, reducing energy consumption. Finally, the last layer will take cues from SpaceX and act as a launch and landing site for rockets. The concept is that medicine, food, housing and tech industries are on the same platform. Now to be clear, there's no actual plans in place to construct Dogen City yet. And when we searched for the price tag, we couldn't find and share the exact number yet, but that it would be huge. For now, we will be seeing development on the concept, more so that it can eventually serve as a blueprint for other regions. Africa, South America, the Middle East are going to generate climate refugees a lot. The main focus is to cope with climate refugees, so that's why Dogen City should be launched near the affected regions. Currently, there's no word on where exactly Dogen City will be located or a timeline for completion. While a lot of this may sound far-fetched, floating cities are actually now an emerging industry in themselves. For the first time, floating urban development was included in a report this year from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. And there's a good reason why, from the Maldives to New York, Miami, Shanghai and Bangkok, all of these cities along the water are facing the threat of rising sea levels. We're running out of the sand we'd need for land reclamation. Cities everywhere are in desperate need of more affordable housing, and we're simply running out of space. Today's cities will only be able to provide 40% of the space required to house the world's population by 2050. Maybe Dogen City won't be built exactly as it's laid out right now, but the project's vision is helping us imagine how we could build better at a time when drastic change is needed. Climate change is going to force us to reinvent the wheel, and science fiction concepts like this one might one day become our reality. Well, I am sure you are going to love to watch our video about futuristic technologies that are more cool on our channel. Make sure to subscribe to us and never miss our amazing videos like this. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.